I'm not sure if we're all Oh, I like that. I like that. I like that. <laughs> Welcome on board. My name is Robin. As you see, I'm the man who's going to get you to the great house in one piece. All right? All right. All right. All right. Now, at the moment, you're like 450 feet above sea level. Once I get you to the great house, it's going to be like 600 feet above sea level. From there, it actually gives you one of the best view you'll ever get of the cockpit mountains to the left. It will definitely highlight most of the 2,000 plus acres of lands that makes up the good old estate where you are today. The view is ranked among the top 10 best views on this side of Jamaica and it's ranked at number four. It's also featured in movies that you might have seen before, filmed right there at the good old great house. So brace yourselves for that, okay? A lot for you to see, a lot for you to hear about once you get there. Stone walls on either side of us, they were built back in the 17th and 1800s. They were built just to sectionize different areas of the plantation. As time goes on, they have been repaired constantly, just like what you're seeing here at the moment, okay? But coming up to our left, this building, the ruins that you're seeing to the left, it was built in 1755 by the first owner of Good Hope Estate, Colonel Thomas Williams. This was the gatekeeper's hub, or the gatekeeper's office. Now this is where he had two workers. Those two workers act as security guards. They were also there to announce the arrival of any visitor for the Great House back then. Now looking at it, ladies and gentlemen, you must realize that back in that time, there weren't any form of electricity. No telecommunication, no network, no blackberries, no smartphones. So these guys, they had to do it manually. One worker ran all the way up to the Great House with a message, the answer came back the same way. Just imagine if there was a party going on up there. I guess doing it like that, they were kept fit and healthy. And today, we don't have to wonder why the fastest man is from Jamaica, all right? <laughs> and from this parish also, right from within this region, just three and a half miles going in that direction, takes you to his birthplace. His mom, his dad, everyone still lives there. So welcome to the community of the fastest man on the earth, Lightning Usain Bolt. Now on either side of the columns right here, just before we enter the property of the Great House, you'll see carvings or replicas of pineapples on top. Mm -hmm. The pineapple signifies hospitality. The warmest welcome a host could ever extend to his or her guest. It simply means, ladies and gentlemen, once you go by here, that you're warmly, truly welcome once more to the Good Hope Estate. Welcome again. Yeah. Woo! Yeah, and you're asked to make the most of your time here today. We have already provided the facilities for you. It's now up to you to make the most of your stay. And we implore you to do so because we want you to go back and mediate. Tell your friends, tell your families. So by next week, I'll see familiar faces like you, all right? No problem? All right. Now today, ladies and gentlemen, as you explore the Good Hope Estate, most of what you're gonna be seeing are hearing about surround the character John Farm. Remember that name, John uh, Farm. He was the second owner of the Good Hope Estate, the youngest person to ever own and operate this plantation. But he was the man who was instrumental in the development of what the estate is today. Most of the buildings you'll see and explore, they were implemented and they were erected under his watch. For example, this building ahead of us, it's the carriage house. It was built in 1785. Now, in that era, horse and carriages would have been the main source of transportation. He was a rich, popular guy. So this house was built just for his carriages and his grown men. Today, it's been refurbished and it has been one of the two guest houses on this property since the last 12 years. So we are just refurbishing for persons coming in by next month some persons will come and stay with us up to three weeks or more and once you're staying here you don't have to do anything you have your housekeepers you have your chefs you just relax and enjoy good home to the fullest all right ladies and gentlemen on that note let me say welcome welcome to the good old bread house built in 1755 as a wedding gift once you disembark, please, you're going to make your way around. Okay, hold on. Okay. 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 
I remember when we were heading back out shortly.